Marla. So I'm doing a Snapchat Q&A and I've got some snacks to keep me company. Um, just some apples, peanut butter, and water. And let's just get started. So I asked you guys in Snapchat to ask me questions. And if you do not know my Snapchat, it's Marla Catherine. So go at me like right now. So starting off with Rayleigh Joe 1234 How are you so confident in what gets your self-esteem up? I think just telling yourself that you're pretty or telling yourself that you're beautiful every day and not comparing yourself helps a lot. So, and you only had like three seconds, so I couldn't show them like by the time I read it. The next Snapchat is from Minnie Mouse. Okay, so the first question from her was, how did I grow my channel so fast? Um, just posting consistently, collaborating a lot. Basically that's, you just have to hope that you grow. <laughs> how do you ha be happy when you can't? Just listening to good music, surrounding yourself with good things, read good quotes, read good books. Don't stay away from things that are gonna bring you down. Maybe if your friends aren't that good, reevaluate life and friends. Next question, is what's your ethnicity so i am a quarter latino so if you did not know my grandma is from el salvador and so i'm a quarter latino because my dad's half latin um and then the rest of my family's white so that's about it and then they also asked how old am i i'm third i'm 13 right i'm 13. <laughs> have you watched 13 reasons why i love you i love you too so i started to watch 13 reasons why but like the first episode like first five minutes there's like 10 f words i don't know not my thing so i just turned off the show. Hey, I love you so much. My question is, when do you turn 14? I turned 14 in June. My friend wanted to be in the photo. So cute. When do I turn 14? I turn 14 on May 11th. I was born in 2003, so I'm super excited to turn 14. So I feel like I've been 13 for like my whole entire life. I don't know. I feel like this has been the, the longest year of my life. Okay, the next question is from Botastic101. How do you get inspiration for videos and the confidence to to start a YouTube channel? Well, I get inspiration for from other YouTubers, basically. So I love Conan Gray, if you did not know. It's a little obvious by now, but I love Conan Gray, so I get a lot of inspiration from him. But also just other YouTubers like my age and people have like a, the same amount of subscribers. I like to see what they're doing. Um, yeah, I, I really get inspiration from anyone. And then also how to have confidence to start a YouTube channel. Um, I had the hardest time starting this YouTube channel. I was really debating taking it down for a little while, but then I just got over the fear of like other people judging me. So honestly, you shouldn't stop. You shouldn't not do what you like to do just because other people are bringing you down about it. So like if you want to do a YouTube channel but you're afraid you're going to get bullied for it, just still do it and then go report the bullying. Don't like go tell a teacher. So I wasn't necessarily ever bullied about my YouTube channel. I was super afraid to start my YouTube channel because I thought I was going to get bullied for having one, but I wasn't. It was actually the complete opposite. I was actually getting a lot of, of harassment to be inside of one of my YouTube videos. People were oh my goodness, going to be in one of your YouTube videos. People I didn't even know that went to my school were talking to me about it. So I got a lot of positive, I got a lot of positive feedback. And so just don't be scared. Just go for it. If you want to do a YouTube channel, just do it. The next question is from Ava Way and she asked, Hi Marla, my question is, what is your favorite song or songs at the moment? My favorite song at the moment is Willy Wonka. I don't know who it's by. Who's it by? Oh, I'm going to search it up on YouTube. I'll play you guys my favorite song right now. <laughs> I know, it's not like the Willy Wonka theme song, I promise. That's not even the theme, it's Oompa Loompa It's Willy Wonka by Russ. Spaghetti marinara on the couch. That ain't it! It's a non scopable ad, are you kidding? The next question is from Cross Scott. If you're going to win one million dollars, what is the first thing that you're going to buy? So if I, she asked if I was going to get one million dollars, what would be the first thing I'm gonna buy and why? So the first thing I'd probably buy is I'd probably like buy a plane that way I can travel anywhere I want. I'm just <laughs> or maybe a car, even though I can't drive. So the next question is. Hello, my name is Nia, and I was wondering if you like having braces and do they hurt? Cause I'm getting my like, in a month. Do I like my braces and do they hurt? Cause she's getting hers in a month. So they hurt like the first like four days, but you can't really eat anything for like the first week besides like smoothies. But other than that, they really don't hurt. You get like get used to them. Oh, it is thundering outside. Mia George asks favorite Stranger Things scene. When they're like, when Finn and Millie, or whatever their name is, and Mike and Eleven, when they're like in the gym and then they like kiss, that was so cute because they're like, oh. Mariah5125 asks, Hi, I'm Mariah and I was wondering what your favorite book is right now. And by the way, I love your videos. Literally, thank you guys so much. Anytime you guys compliment the videos or just compliment me, you guys are so being so sweet. And I just like to say thank you. 
So she asked what my favorite book is. I used to be a big time reader, but nowadays I can't really find like a good book to like that I actually get into. If you guys could suggest books, comment down below your favorite book because I love to read but I just never can find a good book. But I read this one called The Face on the Milk Carton. It's about this girl that like sees her face on the milk carton of when she was like four. Like realizes like that her parents never have like older felt like baby pictures of her. So she thinks, she suspects that she was like kidnapped when she was a baby. And so it was a really good book. It's really intense, but it's like really good. So I'd suggest that if you guys are looking for a good read. King Alex 791 asked me a question. At what age did you know you wanted to be a YouTuber? I decided at the young age of 12 to become a YouTuber. Oh wait, I'm only 13. Honestly, I didn't really think of YouTube. I didn't think of Instagram. I was not into that at all whatsoever. I used to watch Brooklyn and Bailey. I was literally their number one fan. Like every Wednesday, that Wednesdays were my favorite day of the week because they uploaded. The next one is from Anna Fay 123 and she asks, how did you get into modeling? Um, I'm not a professional model whatsoever. I'm just an Instagram model. I just collaborate with a lot of photographers on Instagram so it looks like I'm a model. But these lopsided nostrils aren't gonna get me anywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a fly in my room. Next question comes from Daisy Duck 249 and she says, Do you love New Zealand? You know, I can't say because I've never been there. Yes, just from pictures. They look so pretty. I wish I lived in New Zealand. Aflecomer14 asks, How do I sneak a cow in my house without my parents knowing? I need to help ASAP. You just gotta go through the back door. And then you cover the cow in a large blanket and you just tell your mom that it's your friend's Halloween costume. Worked for me. Okay, next question is from catgirl725. She asks, when are you getting your braces off? Um, I'm getting my brace, so I don't know for sure, but I'm going on May 1st to an orthodontist appointment. So I'm gonna ask him when he thinks, so I'm gonna ask my orthodontist at the appointment when he thinks I can get them off. But I'm thinking about like a year, Maybe a year and a half. So Hopper Grasser asks, I'm a Muslim and I really want to make a YouTube channel, but I know I will get hate because I wear a headscarf. Any tips? Just rock the headscarf, start the YouTube channel. 2017 is supposed to be all about acceptance, so just go for it. Oh, oh this is a good one. Would you rather get married to your crush but be super poor or get married to someone you don't know and be rich? Obviously get married to my crush but be poor. You know, it's not all about the money sometimes. G Trap, send a selfie. The next, the last one is from Julia underscore Bulia. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Uh, I had a pet for, I had the cute, there's a fly in my room. Um, I had a dog for like a week. That was the best week of my life. Last one is from Kenzie Boo, one, two, three, four. Mackenzie, what's your favorite eyeshadow palette? Mine's the Tarte, Tarte Lime Bloom Palette. Any recommendations? Love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kenzie, you're so cute. So my favorite palette is the Bonk. Is called the Nude Dude by the Bomb. Hi, Marla. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm cold, but uh, I just want to ask you uh, who your fashion icon is because I love your style and I just want to know who inspires you. I actually don't have a fashion icon. I don't really. I just. I'm kind of green. Is your YouTube your passion or do you like anything else? I'm gonna like stalking my crunch on Instagram. Where's your laundry basket from? From your last video. I think it's from Walmart. Walmart? I think it was from Walmart. I don't even know. We, did we have a laundry basket in the video? Walmart is the answer to everything. And Conan Gray. Okay, so that wraps up this Snapchat Q&A. Thank you to everyone that asked questions. And I was super lame. I didn't even eat my apples. But if I did, you guys would probably throw up because when I eat food, it kind of looks gross because I have braces. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!